gonna do um, today. Yesterday we had a, a session where we ran into, um, we found some struggles with Bella going up and over. Uh, we had a bunch of brush, uh, like a like a fence row basically of, of brush that was tipped over. We made a retrieve over it. We found that after the trailing memory she did pretty good with, um, but once we had it a mark on the opposite side, she hit that barrier and she faded right away. And so one of the things that we're gonna work on because of that is going up and over barriers that are more like a fence. And so today we're gonna set it up um, to start along that process. I'm gonna use this green um, snow fence. And what we're doing is finding, an, I think the area you do that in is real important. So we're really wet right now with, with it being spring and we just melted our snow off and so there's a lot of wet areas. So it's hard first off to find a dry spot. But what I wanted to use is, I typically use that area that we were doing, we do a lot of retrieving in, um, but most of the grass is laid down flat and putting that wall up, is it's hard for me to build it into anything. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this trail. It's just a, it's kind of a four wheeler trail. Um, but if you look from the far end and we'll have Ben, we'll have Ben look at it from a far end a little bit later, but it'll show you that this brush and this brush kind of chokes it down. And so visually I want when the dog looks down the line and goes, I want them to realize it's thick on both sides. I might as well just go over and stay on the path. As opposed to if you had the fence in the middle of a wide open field, they're gonna look at it and they may have a tendency to just go around it. And so I don't wanna give her that option and make that the easy way early on. Eventually we can, we can work on if we need to, and I don't really care that much about the idea of holding the line so, so tight that they would not logically go around an object. I don't care if it makes sense to go around something. I do care if it makes it not practical. Um, again, I don't do field trials, so I don't care about that stuff um, uh, as, as much as some might. But what I do wanna do is get her to be logical about it. So we're using this path. This is the path we're gonna use to make the retrieves. We're gonna stretch this uh, snow fence across here, and then we're gonna use the natural thick, brush on both sides to kind of be, um, help us keep the dog running down it. So I'm gonna set this up first, and then from there, we'll go get, um, we'll go get Bella. And I'll show you how we're gonna incrementally, and the reason why I use snow fence um, is because I can adjust the height of it. I use these little portable posts. Um, I can put hook the fence on as high or as low as I want. And we're gonna start out real low. She's gonna barely be jumping uh, to get over and then we'll slowly be able to raise the height of it until eventually we got it full height and it's four feet and she's making nice little jumps. So, but what the objective will be is when we get this all set up is where this is our first step towards getting her to understand, go through barriers and keep going, keep pushing through. So we ran into a problem yesterday and now we're gonna fix it, work on fixing it starting today. All right, so I just ran in and grabbed um, my bag, my whistle, and Bella. Um, we set the set the little fence up here. Now, what I'm going to do to start out with is we're simply going to get her going over it. No, no retrieve or anything. And the other thing is too that I made a point of. I did bring one big dummy with me, but I switched out and I grabbed a bunch of the small dummies. Um, I grabbed the little ones because when I do start making these first retrieves with her going up and over, I don't want her dropping them. Um, the smaller dummy is just going to be a little bit easier for her to carry over the, to, over, to jump over that fence. So to start out with, before we get going, if you recall back, this is something that I need to do a better job of every day, multiple times. I'm going to do it, not just when we're filming. There'll be multiple times. And I don't put her on lead that often. It's probably part of the reason that we've gotten to this point. Um, over the last several weeks, even month plus, um, Roost, we got pheasants cackling. I love this time of year, but um, we've been working off lead primarily. So we need to get her back into this habit of accepting me putting the lead on, taking the lead off, and not having any type of issue. Sit, sit, good. So yesterday we noticed that ducking away and that pulling out of the head real quickly. So I'm going to reach down without even bringing the lead in, and then I bring it in and I'm gonna bring it up and over and I'm gonna make a point of rubbing those ears. I usually keep it pretty loose so that it can go on and off without really 
rustling it on and off. So, but I'm gonna purposely taking pressure here and put ear around her ears to keep her from having this reflex reflex of pull out pulling out and jerking that head back. Good. So nice and easy. Good. We'll take it on, we'll take it off. I also think it's real important because the dogs need to understand when the lead comes off, that doesn't mean freedom, run around. The lead might go on and off a hundred times and nothing changes behavior-wise. She's already getting a lot nicer with it. Very good. So we're starting out this session much better. Uh, there's no, there's nothing worse than starting out a session that you're planning on doing a bunch of stuff. You started off on the wrong foot with just simply getting a leash on the dog. And we ran into that two days in a row. Actually, we ran into it one day in a row and then the next day we worked on it and now we're gonna continue. Very good. Another th little thing that you can do is just take your hand, put it through your lead, reach out there, and now you follow it on with it. Very good. On and off, very good. Good girl. On and off, don't let that nose go down. She likes to duck out. Get the chin up, chin up. Good girl, very good, very good. Now I am gonna put her on lead for this drill because we're gonna heal her to start out. We're just gonna heal her up and over that fence. I'm gonna time it with a command. I'm gonna tell her over. And so when I say over, it's gonna help me at some at different points down the road when we start sending her over obstacles. I didn't say, you never heard me say over yesterday when we sent her over the, over the brush pile. It's because over doesn't mean anything to her. We'd never have worked on it. It wouldn't have, wouldn't have done anything. I'm gonna start because this is a formal drill that we're working on a skill. The skill is get up and over something and push on. So we're gonna start and we're gonna use a cue for it so that she understands that down the road, once she understands what this is all about, when we go back to where we tried yesterday, when she gets to that brush pile, in the background she's gonna hear me say, over! And when she hears that over, she's gonna go back to this and go, get over it and push forward. Because now we're training for it. Well, yesterday I crossed my fingers and saw if she was able to do it. We struggled, we ran into some bumps. So heel. So heel work has to be perfect. We don't wanna, because eventually we're gonna be doing this off lead. But right now what we can do is, this is just incorporating a new thing into our heel work, a new thing into our sit to the whistle, because sit to the whistle has been added to heel work. So we're just adding another layer to this. It's another link that's being connected. Bella, heel. And we're on lead, it's our security blanket, it's our little safety thing, she does really well on lead. And I do it because when we approach this, she may not be in such a hurry to follow me over. Now I'm not gonna let her jump first, I'm gonna step over, I'm gonna let her smell it, I'm gonna let her get used to it, over, good. And that was a pretty bold little move on her part. Heel. So we're just gonna heel past it. Good, heel. She doesn't even know that this is a drill. She doesn't know what we're working on yet. She thinks, well, we're doing some heel work, sit to the whistle. I'm just gonna clear some of this brush out of the way here, make our setup a little bit easier. Now, I'm not gonna ask her to sit, I'm not gonna ask her to wait. I might, I, I do get in the habit of typically telling my dogs, wait, wait, easy, wait, wait, over, over, good girl. She comes over, tell her she's a good girl. Now I gotta get a little bit better, this is a coordination thing. I gotta get a little bit better getting that lead out of the way. Good, heel. A little sit to the whistle, build it in. Good, heel. Good, heel. This is the new part of this drill. Wait, 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 over, good. And you notice I got the lead out of the way. Very good. That went a lot smoother. We didn't have to fumble around. Heel. We didn't have to fumble around trying to get it out from under her leg. Good. Heel. Wait. 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 Over. Over. Good. I give her a little encouragement. Come on. Come on. Just It's just the exact same thing that we do when they're little pups and I'm recalling them to me. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Good, here. So, this is just a, just another extension. Wait. That's patience and steadiness. Over. 
Good girl. Good girl. And we're not doing it at four feet. We're doing it at two feet. Wait. 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 You see how anxious she was to come over? I don't want her to sit. Good. I don't want her to settle in and sit. Doesn't matter if she does, but I prefer her not to. I prefer her to just be paused, cued, ready to go. Wait. Over. A little early there. And that's why I use that fence. You see her little athleticism? She kind of went up and landed on the fence. Doesn't hurt herself. Wait. Wait. Over. Good. Good. Heel. That time we don't go over, we just mix it up and keep her honest. Heel. Wait. 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 Over. Over. Good girl. Good girl. Doing just fine. Wait. Wait. Over. 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 Come on. Over. Over. Come on. Come on. Good. Sit here. 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 No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Right here. Good. Good. There's a really good example of change one thing and look what happens. Yep. So we're not going to get on her too hard about it, but we're going to be cautious at this next. And you saw her hesitation. Wait. Over. Over. Good. Heel. 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 Over. Over. Heel. Good. Right here. Heel. Catch her off turn. Ask her to turn the opposite way. Heel. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait. Wait. Over. Over. Come on. Over. Over. Come on. Over. Come on. Come on. Good. Heel. So I'm real quick to get her back under control. Very good. Heel. Heel. Very nice. You'll notice I encourage, I encourage, I encourage because she needed it to get up and over. As soon as she hit the ground, heel. So I'm bringing her right back in. So we just went from lead to an hour, a little off lead. Heel. Heel. Good. I like to build up a little momentum coming into it. Now we're in sync with our heel work. Heel. Come on. Come on. Wait. Wait. Over. 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 Heel. Good. Heel. Heel. Come on. Come on. Good. Heel. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait. Over. Over. Good heel. Good. Good dog. Now, add something to this. Put a dummy in and take a step back. Put the lead on. Heel. Wait. Whoa. Wait. 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 You gotta, be my, you gotta be careful myself. Over. Over. Good. Heel. Heel. Good. Heel. Right to me. Come on. Hold. Very nice. Dead. Dead. And I get a nice little delivery out of it. It's a very controlled setup right now. Got her on lead. <clears throat> but because she's holding well, because she's healing well, because we've got that confidence, got some swans coming up over. Great time of year. Hold. So she's got to hold that dummy while these swans fly over and squawk. Hold, hold, very nice. Heel, wait, wait, over, over, good. Hold, hold, and then I'll bring her in for a delivery. Right here, good, good, dead, very nice. <clears throat> now, um, Ben, why don't you back up just a little bit? I'm just gonna pitch one over here and see how she does with it. And send her on one. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave the collar on with the steady with the the adjustable leader tab here on it so that it's just it's more so for her to feel that level of control. 
Although, you know, she got a little, she got a little squirrely on me here. Um, with that, with the collar on, I think the collar on helped to get her back to me. It's just another, it's just this, it's just this security blanket, safety blanket. Let me bring her back in with it. Now, I'm going to pitch it out. I don't want to give her a lot of opportunity to think about going around me. Um, heel, heel. Sit. Bella. Good. Here, here, here. Here, 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 no, nah, no, nah. and there it is. Here, here, here. Okay, so that's that's what that's what we're trying to get away from. She's a smart little bugger. So what I'm gonna do with this is we're just gonna do some more going up and over. Put a different dummy in, hold. Over, over. Over, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, over, 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 come on, come on, come on, over, come on, come on, come on, good girl, very good, third year, good girl. So that hesitation to come up and over with something in her mouth. Heel. And so the other thing too is just the way this fence is, Naturally, it pushes back that way. The way to get her to come to me is probably, the best way to get her to come to me would be on that side and have her come this way because you got this natural like cup, this fence that's shielding you that way. It's a much more, it, the funnel is in. Right here, the funnel is out. So when she comes back and looks at this, where'd she go? She leaked out to the spot where if, this was downhill, where would the water go? It would leak out that way. So we gotta take that into consideration. I'm not gonna ask her to make a retrieve over the fence um, again, uh, not today. I'm gonna go back and forth with her a few times. And then what I'm gonna do is probably extend the fence out and make the retrieve and see what that does. But we're gonna do this over the process of a couple days. I'm in no rush, I don't need her doing it today. I do want her to improve on what she's started, hold. Hold, over, come on, come on, over. Good girl, very good, good girl, dead. The other thing too that I could, if I really ran into some problems, is I could change my setup. I could put a fence across my front porch. It's only this wide, and if I have to, I would do that. If it were, if she were a little smaller, I don't like dogs jumping too early. I think we gotta be real careful. Um, the rule, good rule of thumb is don't let a dog jump any taller than they are as they're growing up. So if your puppy's this tall, they shouldn't jump off anything bigger than this. You gotta, I saw, I, there's a thing floating around, you'll find it if you look for it. There's a um, x-ray of a puppy and there's literally space in between the the bones and that is for growth and so if we ask these dogs when they're too young and, that and that's for a while if we ask these dogs when they're too young to be jumping too much you are 100 percent in increasing the chances of having joint problems tenfold minimum so we don't ask dogs to jump anything bigger than they are tall so, you know, she's not a real tall dog. She's only this tall. So yeah, at a certain point she can jump higher than that. Um, but you know, she's gonna be a year next month. So she's 11 months. I'm not so worried about it now. Skeletally, she's pretty mature. Um, she's definitely gonna fill in a little bit yet muscularly, but um, she is, I, I would say don't get these puppies jumping till they're six months. Uh, and, and when I say jumping, I don't mean four foot jumps. No reason to ease into it, but little jumps like this, um, no problem. I'm not worried about, I'm not doing it small for her because I'm worried about her physically. I'm doing it small for her because it's a barrier. And so the barrier, if it's this big or this big or this big, it's still a barrier. And so we need to just incrementally take it on. So I'm gonna, I am gonna put the big dummy in her mouth, have her come over the top with it, hold. So it'll be a little more challenging, hold. Hold, good. Bella, over, over. Good girl, very good. And a nice little happy wag of the tail. Very good, you can see it is springtime coming, they're shedding pretty good. Good girl, 
did. Obviously with lead, she's got a real nice controlled delivery. Oh, perfect. Good. And that's it. I'm not going to do any more with her today. We are in no rush. We'll take it day by day. This is something we can start to build in as a little exercise. Um, I can do it sporadically. I can, if we run into an issue here where she continues to want to go around, we're going to change the situation. No more of it. Don't get her in a habit of running out and skirting around to get back. The goal with this is up and over, up and over, up and over. And so it just takes, we just introduced it to her. She's jumped over the fence 15 times total. So she, over doesn't mean anything to her yet. She needs to do this repetitively in a training situation and we just have to get the right setup and the right amount of time in before it starts to click. Makes sense. So good girl. Nice easy session today. Now we're not going to be quite done. What I think we'll do is heal. So that's that's something new. That's a good little skill that we put in. There's no very little learned today except I think she realizes she built a little comp sit down there's a little confidence been built. So today, we're gonna incorporate some, no, 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 right here. Sit up, sit up, sit up. I got on her, pretty good, good. Now, I don't wanna be too Dr. and Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. That was unacceptable. She broke because Ben got down like this. And what do I do when I call dogs to me? I get down and I go like this. So that was the confusing part to her. The dummy she almost picked up and I said, no, 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 no. She, ah, I'll come back here. Now, what I like about that is that's the first time my no, 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 no has been strong enough to turn her off of picking this. And I wouldn't recommend doing it early on. I didn't do it early on. I've tried to do it a little bit more recently because I've had some scenarios where, A, I need that control. Eventually I need to be able to tell a dog, no, leave it. And have them leave a bird. Leave a super, the most tempta tempting thing in the world. We have to be able to tell them, no, leave it here and have them come to us. That's having them respect us enough to do that. I have to, so that was a little bit of a, a sign to me <clears throat> that I've got a little bit of respect level where I need it to be. Ah! Good. Very good. 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 Very tempting. Good control. Good dog. Good dog. Good girl. Haven't done enough of this. Need to do more of it. In a in a real in a relatively controlled setting of a retrieve, I've got a lot of confidence uh, in in make in one of the way we typically set stuff up. I have a ton of confidence in her steadiness because we've done it so often. But in situations where all of a sudden there's a tennis ball that rolled by her, it's, it's not something she's used to because it's not something we've done enough of. I'd like her to see this thing in the air. Good. When she visually watches it, we're getting something out of this too. We're getting her understanding, keep my eye on things. Keep an eye on where the things fly in. Oh, this is a little tough because those are up and over her head. Ah, ah, ah. Those are real good visual following. There she lost that one. She needs to start using her eyes to follow these things. Good. Good. 
These are all skills that will come in as we do more marking. Good. 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 Just watching, having her follow it with her eyes. We're getting denial in, steadiness in, lots of patience. Now let's go back to the tennis ball. Look at the difference as the tempting tennis ball. I mean, these are just as close to her as they were. But she's settled in. Good. Good. She's starting to settle in. Ah, good. Good. I want those eyes. Good. Very good. That one was the toughest one. I mean, she could reach out right now and probably pick it up. Very good. But what she's showing me is a lot of respect right now. Good. Good. And I'm going to show her some. Very good. Let me pick these up. We'll leave that last one and don't think for a second she doesn't want this tennis ball very good very nice very nice very nice heel and so heel. we're gonna work our way through here Ben we're gonna we're pretty much finished up but we're gonna head back Sit. leads gonna come off good leads gonna go on on and off good very good you I'm just gonna take a couple steps back. Watch. Bella. And let her go hunt one out. Loss. 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 Hold that area. Loss. Loss. Good girl. Here, 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 here. Very good. Hold right here. Come on. Come on. Good. Hold. That's it. She couldn't help but get that little bit of energy out there. That's okay. It's puppy. I'm not going to let her wind it up. Not going get, to get too worked up about it though. Good. Hold. Dead. Good. Good. Share it back to her. Good dog. Right here. Right here. There's the delivery now that I want. Very good. So give her another chance. She comes in with that high energy excitement. Dead. Heel. Put it back in her mouth. Give her a chance to take two, three steps to me. Give her a chance to finish it out the way I want it finished out. Nice. Nice little calm delivery. Two, three steps comes to me. So that's it. Now I'm going to put her, I'm going to heal her back. <clears throat> it's another opportunity to put that lead on and off. We're gonna bring her back and that's a good session for today. Good, good. Again, I don't want her in this habit of ducking her head when she thinks she's gonna have a lead put on her. There's nothing more frustrating than wrestling with a dog to put a leash on them. Hey, sit, good, good. Slip it on, we'll slip it off. We'll slip it on, we'll slip it off, good. Here's the pheasant, good. That's it. Good session. Lots of stuff. Um, she did real well with most of it. And we have, we knew we had stuff to work on and that's the stuff we'll continue to work on. Good girl. Yeah.